the International Conservative Conference in Tel Aviv, and we are with Matt Schlapp, head of the CPAC. Shalom. Yeah, so great to be here at CPAC Israel. It's our very first CPAC in Israel. We've done these CPACs in Japan, in Korea, in Australia, in Brazil. We obviously do these big conferences in America that... Uh, what took time till you came to Israel? You guys are so pro-Israel. What took time? It's not about not having an affinity uh, with the Israeli cause, with the Israeli people, with the Jewish people. Um, it's, it's more just about we keep having these countries call us. And uh, it seems like this is the perfect time. This could be God's time. Uh, for uh, conservatives in Israel to partner more with their conservative friends in America. You know, there's always been a lot of partnership organizations between our two countries, but none of them based on being conservative. So it's a very unique uh, time. Help us with the terminology, by the way, because you know in Israel we use right, left, uh, different terminology. How do you define conservative? Well, the problem is in America is they hijack our words on the left and they change all the meanings. So if they call you right wing in America, what they're really calling you is a fascist. And so we always kind of step away from using that terminology. But I think conservatives are, are kind of tired of that. First of all, we were the classical liberals. We believe that God gave you a brain and that you should use your brain to solve problems and that uh, we could better ourselves. Uh, even somebody born in humble circumstances could learn and educate themselves. Uh, that's classical liberalism, and instead, uh, they took that word. They took the word liberal, so we had to find a word. We found the word conservative, and so when our European friends and other friends used the word right or right wing, um, that's why we don't use it in America, but we should probably take that word back. If they're left, we're right. Uh, the only thing that's a little different about conservative is it's not always right. You know, it's not really a left or right thing. Sometimes conservative is just this idea that God created you with certain rights. You can actually use those rights to do something liberal, right? Or something now, left. How, how do you see what goes on in Israel? We're seeing in America, it's, it's a real war, a war of words, a war of idea, a war, to, a war in the world of, of, of legal issues. How do you see what's going on in Israel? Uh, well, we're not, it doesn't seem that we're there yet. You have this big election coming up in November, which the people of America, you know, they're not always interested in everyone's politics, but they are interested in Israeli politics. Um, we're very worried with the Biden presidency that we're sending the message out around the globe that we're weakened, that we won't take care of our energy needs, that we're on decline, that uh, we're telling Vladimir Putin and we're telling uh, Xi in China Eh, we don't really have the power to do anything to stop you. That is not where the American people are. We're really hopeful that this Biden administration can come to an end as soon as possible. And, uh, and I think the November elections uh, in our country, just like you have November elections, it's going to stop any progress the Biden administration can make on further destroying our economy and sending these terrible, weak messages overseas. Now, you visited Hebron. Some see that area, the city of our forefathers, as controversial. You don't. I don't. I'm glad uh, that our delegation went there. I'm glad we paid respects to some of the great uh, heroes of the Old Testament. Um, I'm proud of the fact that uh, we brought a whole plane load of dignitaries over here today. Three Trump ambassadors here for CPAC Israel. Two former cabinet secretaries, including Rick Grinnell, who was the ambassador to Germany as well, here for CPAC Israel. We brought, uh, you know, our great friend Ben Shapiro is here at CPAC Israel. Uh, and, you know, uh, we're just very impressed. And we have just regular citizens. They just said, you're going to do a CPAC in Israel? We're flying over there. we got to be a part of it. So one thing's for sure, this is the beginning of an annual tradition. Yeah, we hope so. We hope so. We want to come back, but it's about the people here. You know, it's about how can we be helpful. And uh, what we found in these other countries, you know, we just came out of Hungary and had a CPAC. We're going to Mexico uh, and have a CPAC. We find that it's too much of a good thing. They want to keep doing it every year, right? Okay, Match Lab, thank you very much for joining us. Have a great visit here in Israel. Thank you for welcoming us to this most important of countries. Thank you for letting us walk the streets of Jerusalem, which we believe is the eternal and undivided capital of Israel. And we also believe it's a special place for all of us who call upon God's name.